Iskandar. Some people call me Amber. I'm from Tarik Jeans. Hi, my name is Ali Lazmi and I'm the founder of Karipok KL. Hi, my name is Jeremy Little. I'm from a company called Laguna Music. My name is Ain. I run for a drug-free youth association. Nama saya Aloy Paradox. Saya merupakan editor dan juga penerbit untuk syarikat penerbitan alternatif Selut Press. Assalamualaikum. My name is Yazid. But as a pen name for my, my works, I'll just use Zid. Tarik Jeans is a denim label. We've been working on producing the best quality jeans, uh, specifically designed for Malaysians. We make fusion curry puffs, um, which has four flavors. Uh, beef bolognese, macaroni and cheese, mushroom and onion, and mashed potato and chicken sausage. Laguna Music is uh, an independent record label. Uh, we, we manage, produce, distribute and work with as much aspect of music within the, the music industry around Malaysia, helping promote local music talents and local artists as much as we can within Malaysia and pushing them outside Malaysia as well. Drop Free Association is, uh, is an NGO. We're about to uh, educate and uh, to give awareness to the to the young kids and uh, to the teenagers uh, regarding about drugs, um, alcohol, and other kind of addictions. Daripada selut press tu, kita pecahkan kepada tiga cabang lagi. Yang pertama memang selut press, menebikkan novel-novel pelbagai genre. Kemudian selut klasik, menebikkan novel-novel adaptasi daripada karya-karya klasik Inggeris, Arab dan sebagainya. Dan yang ketiga, selut seram, menebikkan buku-buku berunsur misteri dan juga fiksyen seram. I'm fine artist by training. But somehow, while I was studying, I was doing freelancing for comics and also doing other illustration jobs. So somehow, in a way, I've been doing comics more than I'm doing my fine art. There's a lot of creative people over here, but not many people like, would, would invest on them or whatever because they don't see them as something uh, that could you know, something productive, something young, they, they can produce, they can actually make money. Yeah. The biggest challenge is money. <laughs> because you need money to buy equipment, to mass produce, to do proper packaging, you need, you need adequate funds. One of the things that we're struggling now is in terms of purchasing of music and buying of music and as well as events. And these are the things that can sustain the growth of the industry if, if the artists are able to earn more money then we're able to push out our, our music to a, a wider audience. Some, some of the people don't like what we're doing, or we're kind of uh, disappointed what, what they did, how, how did they treat the, the youth that you know, have the initiative to do something that good for, for the people. Masalah modal lah. Itu masalah yang dihadapi bukan saja seluk press, tapi semua penerbitan alternatif dan juga semua penggiat-penggiat seni yang ada Dekat Malaysia. The struggle of being uh, making it whether as a rice bowl or a dream. Only if you manage to join it into a dream bowl, being able to fish for uh, the catch of the day or catching the big fish for a bigger project. It's always like that. Urban Village comes in as like a, a support. Even when I was doing this, like there was no urban village. If they were around back then, I, I could have probably learned from people like Zul and how they, you know, how they organize their business, how to do everything. Urban village is not just a creative centre, like it's beyond that. It's a place that has created a brotherhood and sisterhood um, of entrepreneurs. Urban village has been great for us, for my company as well. They provide a, an additional platform, uh, not just for us to sell our music, but for us to, to have our music performances here, networking us together with other creative industries. Urban Village have, um, you know, had helped us a lot and uh, reaching out more, reaching out people. We really wanted um, a centre for the youth, whereby youth could come and uh, to, to, to show their passion on something like music, like art. 
and like uh, entrepreneurship dengan mengambil pesan yang saya rasa sedikit pada event-event yang dia orang buat dekat sini dia orang panggil kita terlibat buka booth orang ramai datang dapat sedikit suntikan kewangan di situ I really love the space and the atmosphere around urban village at first I thought I was just coming to a flea market and then I saw the space and whoa this is what I need it's different if you work from home there's a bed here there's TV PlayStation you work for a bit and then go down to the, you check the fridge eat some food snack and you get for you sleep maybe I'll do the work later for at for the oh man the, the favorite show is on and you don't do anything so this is what I need here and also they are always involved with so many different people meeting up with uh, especially with a social event that way I can uh, extend my network and also meet up with new people and maybe there's more open more doors for collaboration it's good that they are here now I mean it's never too late for them to you know educate the younger generation these great people who you know who who support who support us people like me to, to go further. It's a, it's a good platform for us and a good company for us to be able to work with. Kami memang perlukan bantuan yang macam tu. This is what our dream is. It's, it's like a dream come true.